So I just bombed the certification test and it's not because I didn't study for it. It's not because I wouldn't prepare it. It's because of one really, really simple mistake that I made. And I'm going to show it to you because I'm furious. I'm mad at myself, but I really wish they would change this verbiage so that other people don't make the mistakes. All right, so let's go ahead. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Okay, so this is the documentation. So when you go to take the, well, let's go ahead. Let me show you what you got to do. When you take the PF Sense Fundamentals Practical Application, this is a firewall certification and it is a hard one. Okay, it is the real deal. So you're going to go through it and you're going to take the multiple choice exam. You got to got to clear the multiple choice exam before you can do anything else. Once you clear the multiple choice exam, you then have to register for a practical lab and you have to go through these labs. I'm going to explain the details because you may want to get the certification, especially if you really want to learn network. And I run PF since firewalls here and I run it for a reason. I do believe in the product, but I'm pissed off because I hate this language. I hate this. Okay, you only need to sign up for your, the first date. So when you complete the multiple choice section, you're supposed to go and they present you with two days to register for. And when I read this the first time, for some reason, I assumed or I understood it to mean that you had to choose one of the days that was presented, which I don't understand that if you're going to have to do two consecutive days, they put it in capital letters. I did not read that. I don't know why. So today I'm at work. And uh, I just say, well, you know what? Something, I just had a feeling. I was like, man, maybe I need to pop in here, man. Like, it just some, seems weird that they would have two days. I'm going to have to wait two or three months, and they're going to have two days, and I will only have one day that I have to attend. So I popped in about 1 o'clock. Class started at 9 o'clock, and it's supposed to go today, which is Wednesday, and then it's supposed to go Thursday. So I come in about 1.30, 1.40, and asked the question, I was like, hey, you know, I was reading the thing, like, we only had to attend one of the two days. He was like, no, like, you, you it's a two-day class. And I was like, holy crap. I didn't think that in my mind. I probably thought something much worse. So I started working, all right, and uh, I bust my button. I had to 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, and I had to get through the first five. So let me show you how this works out. But anyway, you read this. Like, I wish they would just say, like, just, just freaking give me the day to register. Don't even tell me all this. If it's a two-day course, just give me one day and I sign up on a register and it's going to like, and I don't know, I don't understand this. Why would you let me register for Thursday? Cause I literally did my registration for Thursday, right? Why would you let me do registration for Thursday? So I don't understand that PF sense. Why y'all need to do that? You should just have it as a bundle. And when you register, you don't, it's regardless of days or something like that. So anyway, I come in and it's for today. If I was going to go and continue, I had to sign up for sections one through five, where I had to complete sections one through five. I completed sections one, two, three, and four. Boom, done. And it come down to the wire. I have 40 minutes. And I'm setting up embedded, I'm setting up an IPsec VPN. Uh, and also setting up some users, remote users who are gonna be accessing the VPN. That's what you're doing in lab number five. And I get about almost two thirds through through five. And I realized I had one mistake, like I could ping one way over my VPN, but I couldn't ping the other way. Okay. And so I knew I had an issue there. And so, but my VPN came up and established my IPv6, I mean, my IPsec VPN, um, phase one, phase two, everything and it established was working. I just couldn't ping one way. And so that was kind of the nail in the coffin because it's got to work. This is a pass fail lab. And so if I don't complete everything, I'm done. And so I was going down to the wire and I just kind of, kind of got to sit the sick feeling like this is in because what happened is that if I got through this portion, then tomorrow you got to go through six, seven and nine and then boom, congratulations, you get the certification. Now, I do recommend that everybody, if you can take this certification, it's not very expensive. If you go to NetGate, um, let's go to NetGate.com. And if you go to, we're going to decline that, go to support and training. This is where you go. To, you can register actually pricing, I think, and then training and you can register for the certification. And it's, you know, it's like, I don't know, I think it's like 140 or something like that. So it's not the end of the world, but dude, it just sucks to go out like this, man, because I literally did a whole day one through five. I literally did. I had nine o'clock to six o'clock and from about 130 to six o'clock. I almost completed it. So I came so close to finishing it. 
but this is the game that we play this is the certification game you know what i'm saying and so it's gonna be some l's you're gonna take some l's every now and then but it's all good but i just kind of want to encourage you by sharing my l's you know with y'all that hey this is a good certification i highly recommend it that you do it and uh once again if it's not 240 now maybe do an update to tell you about it but definitely go there go through all the free material they got tons of documentation get your pf sense firewall run it at home stop running your at&t box and stuff like that go to buy appliances and uh you'll see it right here i think you can see the different firewall and this is the one i recommend 189 dollars get the firewall get some practice learn networking learn real skills and then the cybersecurity job is just a byproduct of you learning real skills. So anyway, I'm gonna like blow off some steam today. Sucks. It sucks. I'm this is my legit real feelings. This is what I feel. So forgive me. Sorry about the rant video. Sorry about the loudness in the mic. But it really sucks because I think could be going on today too, and I could be celebrating, but instead I got to go through this whole process again. So man, that sucks. But yo, yo. Anyway. Stay in there, stay in the game, everybody. That's gonna be else. But you just can't take the, you just can't stop because as long as you go back and you fight the fight again, get it the next time or the next time or the next time, but you know, just don't give up. Anyway, that being said, this is Kendrick, Technology Interpreters, man. Hope that y'all enjoy the video. Hope it motivates y'all. Send somebody who's been in cybersecurity for a long time, still taking L's, but showing how I, I move forward by taking these L's and just moving on, okay? If you have any, want any additional information about the test, uh, feel free to reach out in the comment section. Thanks for watching.